Hey, Ryan's here! <laughs> Hello guys, it's Ryzo here, and I'm bringing you some Black Ops gameplay. It's been a while since my last upload, but I've really just been playing this game a lot, trying to get a good grip and feel for the game, so that I can upload this video and give you a perspective of somebody who knows what he's talking about, rather than somebody who's played two games and are like, Oh my god, I'm playing Black Ops, it's awesome! <laughs> you know? <laughs> I wanted to give you a more educated opinion on the subject. So I've just been playing and playing and playing. I've prestiged already. I just cannot get enough of this game. It's amazing. I love it. I think the reason I love it so much is because of the balance. The balance is spectacular. It is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> I just cannot fault the balance of this game. Everything is so well balanced. I mean, the submachine guns, initially... I thought they would be overpowered. I heard the people at Machinima talking about how they thought they'd be overpowered, and I agreed because the trailer for the Spectre, it just made it look insane, but in practice, it's pretty useless uh, out of very close range, which is something I love. I think that's how submachine guns should be. It's not like in Modern Warfare 2, where if you had a UMP, you could pick someone off of the other side of the map in two bullets. Now on this game, you need quite a lot of bullet, lola, quite a lot of bullets to um, pick someone off at range. They've really nerfed the damage over range, which is something I think is excellent. It's such a good implementation into the game, and to me, the balance of this game just makes it for me the best Call of Duty so far. I just cannot get enough of playing this game. Uh, I'm not going to lie; it is frustrating if you're not doing well. I have this game is the first game ever that has made me dart my controller at the wall. Uh, um, <laughs> my, part of my controller is hanging off, but <laughs> apart from that, this is an excellent game. I really, really do like this game. I just think you kind of need a team or what, play relaxing piano <laughs> music is what I've been doing lately, just to not get so aggravated. But when it's not aggravating, it's great. And I just really wanted to talk about the balance, because the balance is excellent. I've talked, I spoke about submachine guns, but... I mean, the only thing that's probably not balanced is sniper rifles. I think they've nerfed them too much, and now they're just useless. But apart from the sniper rifles, which I wouldn't even bother touching, because they're just no point. Apart from that, it, everything's well balanced. I mean, p you can get kills with pistols. It's not impossible. You can get kills with anything. But... You can only really get kills with things the way you're meant to get kills with things. I guess that's what I really like about it. Like, if you're at short range, you can get kills with sh shotguns fairly easily. Whereas anything else but short range, there's just no point. They're not like the models or spaz from Modern Warfare 2. There's like no range on these things, which I absolutely love. The game actually seems to me like a community game. What I mean by community game is they really seem to have just followed the advice from the community and use that to make the game. I mean, for example, the gun game and the wager match matches, they were community suggestions. They weren't suggested by people who work for Treyarch. Somebody in the community, or a few members of the community, actually suggested the gun game, and for me, that is one of the best, if not the best, parts of the entire game. So, that's awesome. It really seems like Treyarch have listened to the community and seen what they want, which I think is where Modern Warfare 2 went wrong, whereas they just they added a lot of good ideas in Modern Warfare 2, but put into practice, none of them really worked. All they were were good ideas. Because things like One Man Army. I mean, One Man Army is a really good idea for a perk. Being able to change kit on the fly is a great idea. I love that, but it just got over overused. It got abused, really, by noob tubers, which kind of ruined the whole thing. Uh, Commando, I don't know where their heads are at there, I don't know what they were thinking with Commando. And things like Danger Close, I really wouldn't put that in a game. But, you know, they had some good ideas, they had things like, um... Well, the ACR, a gun with no recoil, I guess is kind of a good idea, maybe? <laughs> um, I don't know, I'm trying to justify it. I, I don't know what the gun's like in real life, maybe it has no recoil in real life, but... They shouldn't really have put that in either, to be honest. And that's what I love about this game. There is nothing I can think of that annoys me in the game. Even Second Chance, which I always hate. As soon as I read it was going to be in Black Ops, it made me reluctant to buy the entire game. I hate that thing so much. But even that, they seem to have nerfed quite a bit. It seems pointless. Not many people are using it because it's just so crap, I guess. But 
I really like what they've done. They've, they've nerfed everything that needed to be nerfed, apart from sniper rifles. My only complaint is sniping, because I've tried to... I, I haven't even been quick scoping. I know it's impossible. What I've just been doing is, say, camping with a sniper rifle. I wouldn't call it camping. I'd call it just using a sniper rifle. But say lying on, like, a big tower with a sniper rifle. You, you see someone across the map. You zoom in. You shoot. Nothing happens because you shot too quick. It's it's stupid. It's uh, I know they're trying to stop quick scoping, but they've gone about it the complete wrong way. It's the only thing I can think of. The only criticism. They should just have gone back to longer scoping times, like COD 4, and that would have been fine. I mean, you didn't get many quick scopers in COD 4. And the ones you did get didn't do particularly well, which is why I love it. I mean, you get the odd people like Small Beans and Jazz, but they get their montage clips but I'm sure they suffer quite a bit in kill death ratio to get those clips so it was never overpowered I don't see why they didn't nerf um, actually I can't really comment here because I think they've nerfed everything quite well the only complaint I did have was noob tubes but I've only been tubed probably about 20 times in this game compared to the t on Modern Warfare where in the first week I probably got tubed about 200 times <laughs> So, I think they've nerfed them quite well. The fact that you can't scavenge, they've just, they have really well thought out everything. I just can't talk enough about the balance of this game, how great it is. So this video is coming to an end now, but if anyone hasn't picked up this game, I would seriously recommend it, but I'm sure everyone has. So that, this was my first video of Black Ops. Like the video if you liked it, and I'll see you next time.